and then we already know that there was collision of continent continental plate eradu continental plate galu converge agi collide agiddu there was collision it resulted in the formation of fold mountains tertiary period alli agiddu therefore they are the youngest mountain comparatively india dalli iruvantaha mountain gala ondu age nu compare maadkondu ondadadre and they are still rising in height youngest they will always stay the youngest okay and they are having the origin of sedimentary rocks most of them so most of the himalayan rocks are of sedimentary origin and they also have marine origin okay marine origin antandre eno there was tethysi okay so tethysi alli because of the narrowing of this particular geosyncline process aagtadrinda whatever the materials which was brought by the rivers of two of the continents were also uplifted marine origin an nortiva definitely yes hagare if there is a question say suppose himalayan rocks alli ond blue whale ina ಫಾಸಲ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸಿಗುತ್ತಾ ಅನ್ನೋದಾದ್ರೆ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇರಬಹುದು ಟೆಸಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇದ್ದಂತಹ ಬ್ಲೂ ವೇಲ್ ಇನ್ನ ಫಾಸಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರಬಹುದಾ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ರೇಂಜ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಅ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ಚೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಹಿಮಾಲಯನ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ಅಥವಾ ಹಿಮಾಲಯನ್ ಚೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಈವನ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ನೋ ಕನ್ವರ್ಜನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡುವಾಗ ದ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೆವರ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ನಾವು ಯಾವುದೇ ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಗಳನ್ನ ನೋಡಿದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಚೈನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಮೂವ್ ಅಹೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಸ್ಪಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ವೋಲ್ಕೆನಿಕ್ ಆರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟೆತಸ್ಸಿ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಯುರೇಷಿಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಹೌದಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಐಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದ್ರಾಸ್ ಐಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಕ್ ಓಕೆ ದ್ರಾಸ್ ಐಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಕ್ ಅಂತ ಕರ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ದ್ರಾಸ್ ಐಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಪ್ಲಿಫ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಅಪ್ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಆಗೋ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ದ್ರಾಸ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯನ್ ಅಥವಾ ದ್ರಾಸ್ ಐಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಕು ಕೂಡ ಅಥವಾ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಇಗ್ನಿಯಸ್ ರಾಕ್ಸ್ ವಿರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಪ್ಲಿಫ್ಟೆಡ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಸಿಯರ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕೊಲೀಜನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಕನ್ವರ್ಜನ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಈವನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೋಲ್ಕೆನಿಕ್ ರಾಕ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟೆತಸಿ ವಿರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಪ್ಲಿಫ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಫೇಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆದಂತಹ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ಯಾವುದು ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ಸೊ ಡೂ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ದೇ ಮೇ ದೇ ಮೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ನೋ ವೋಲ್ಕೆನಿಕ್ ಒಂದು ರಾಕಿನ ಒರಿಜಿನ್ ಇರುತ್ತಾ ಎಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಅಪ್ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸೀನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಮೊದಲನೇದಾಗಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಆದಂತಹ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ಯಾವುದು ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹೈಟ್ so what is one of the you know normal feature atwa the basic feature eno anthada adre they had greatest height because already create agidanta volcanic arc nu sametvag lift agide it is increasing you know height added height ana kodutide adr jothege and it was first phase ali juncture adaga whatever the first part of the collision definitely with all immense energy in the collide adaga adr height fold aguvanta height kuda maximum ondu peaks anna hondirutte so one of the basic feature of your uh, you know great himalayas eno anthada adre they have greatest heights comparatively okay and uh, this upliftment of himalaya na nodu antadare we have kind of ondu shape na nodu antadare ondu lens in the shape ide convex shape lens ina ondu aakara dalli ide why did it occur like this yaaki reethi adantaha ondu a syntaxial bend anta karithive idana okay why did this bending occur we have to understand that okay so first range of mountains these were your great himalayas and the second stage where you are middle himalayas okay so middle himalayas are comparatively of much lesser height than that of your great himalayas haganta
and at the last phase of you know forming the you know part of your eurasian on the continent jothege collide aagbekadaga the last phase of upliftment enittu whatever the deposits which were given out by the river in the tand hakanta deposit no sametwagi along with the deposits which were settled down or brought down by the himalayan rivers were also uplifted in the third phase of your himalayan upliftment in this uh, the entire alluvial deposits are in itto a plain galannu sametwagi uplift agide ante if you see that it looks somewhat like this so this is your alluvial fan definitely yes okay it still looks like this shivalik so which proves that just by looking from the outer one surface inda nodudre endane gothagutte it definitely is alluvial athwa alluvial origin anna hondiruvantaddu so whatever the deposits which were once brought by river were also uplifted in the third phase of upliftment of himalayas which were called as the foot hills of himalayas clear with this okay this is your indo australian plate okay this is your indo australian plate the indian plate converged against the eurasian plate by narrowing the let us see okay and with the collision i uh, you know uh, the collide okay what what happened the, the convergence gave rise to fold mountains okay it occurred in three of the phases all right and we can classify the himalayas the total himalayas uh, you know as the great himalayas himadri anta karkoltivi great himalayas or the trans himalayas the middle or lesser himalayas idanna himachal anta karkoltivi shivaliks foothills outer himalayas ಮೂರು ರೇಂಜಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಮ್ ಇನ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಔಟರ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಗೋ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಸ್ ಚೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಸ್ ಚೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲನ್ ರಾಕ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲಿನ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಗ್ನಿಯಸ್ ರಾಕ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ they are crystalline in structure anta helidde what do you mean by crystalline throughout the particular rock you will have a single compound so that is volcanic rock so that is how your volcanic rocks are made correct so they have crystalline structure crystalline rock structure anna hondirutte example of your great himalayan mountain peaks example kodi anu antu adre mount everest kanchanjunga makalu daulagiri manasulu annapurna nanda devi kamath gurla mandata mam ishtala list kodpididira we have to you know mark them we will mark them okay keep your atlas open and uh, okay i'll tell you you have to mark them is it okay atlas and open mark it koli we'll start marking and we'll just know about general topics and nodko hogana munde mark martana hogana is it okay clear with this okay so these are uh, basically nan first ali list ali kottiru antadu nepal mattu out of you know nama india the boundary ali iruvanta mountain galanna kottidini inna kelagade iruvanta line ali iruvanta nama bharatada olagade limits of boundary of uh, the recognized legally recognized boundaries of india olagade iruvanta mountain peaks is it okay i'll we'll talk about them nepal ali iruvanta himalayas yavudu sikkim ali irudu yavudu bhutan ali irudu yavudu nam myanmar ali irudu yavudu we'll talk of all these things is it okay now the second part of himalayas are middle himalayas okay middle himalayas or the lesser himalayas ivulanna himachal anta karkoltivi himachal okay himadri himachal and shivaliks okay so himachal bage maatradantadare these are discontinuous okay madhumadalli breaks ide discontinuity galide is it okay these are you now named as these particular you know pirpanjal davladar nagdibba masuri kumaon hills mahabharat range in nepal these are part of your middle himalayas himachalina undu part as you can see here see the location of them are given here the pirpanjal the davladar range the nagatippa masuri range the kumaon hills even you know that is present in uttarakhand okay and the mahabharat range of your nepal okay so these are the parts of your middle himalayas is it okay and then we have shivaliks foothills okay foothills of himalayas are shivaliks okay and they were uplifted along with your himalayas so whatever the alluvial deposits which were brought down by the himalayan rivers along with your last phase of upliftment of himalayas they were uplifted the fluvial origin anna hondirutte fluvial antandre the movement or the mobility of your river water movement anna agiruvanta ha ondu deposits eroded deposits alluvial fans coarse deposits which were brought down by the himalayan rivers were also uplifted clear yeah. they are very closer to himalayas elli anantadare nepal alli but gandak nadiya ondu boundary anantra they start disappearing okay after gandak river 
okay uh, you would have heard about gandak river yes no very good ganga the tributary gandak river okay allinda archige nepal in the archige will not see much of shivalik formation okay next question why don't we see the formation of that because himalayan rivers in a on the deposition age the maximum deposition age than the ranges only the upliftment was seen very predominantly but beyond this we will not see much of the formation is it okay clear right and then we have to talk about structure of himalayas how do they look like okay you will note through age there is a syntactical bend there okay and width na you note onto that in the western side it is much broader okay on the eastern side okay do not consider ee ondu height and consider maadbedi in india towards india nodu antu dadre they are much narrower okay why did this happen anu sonna nodona see the aravallis as well as the assam hills okay in both of your west and east na ondu anterior ondu post alli nodi in the west we had aravallis in the east we had assam hills okay they were old block mountains reminiscent mountain galu definitely they were much stronger and stable okay so even with the jerk they had the capacity in order to withhold making sense so they gave a resistance towards the jerk or the tension which they were getting from a compression in the release of the energy and now withstand mark only okay there was a resistance because of the presence of this strong mountains making sense okay and this is the reason why we don't see much of sagging in the west or east but in the middle we see much of the sag proportion is it okay and a sharp bend towards the south and sudden end anna kuda naavu nortivi south kadege ondu sharp bend anna thagondu sudden agi end agutte formation alli the western bend near nanga parbat igagle maatadidivi nanga parbat okay and eastern bend is towards your namcha parva is it okay and this bend is called as syntactical bend idanna naavu syntactical bend anta karkoltivi this is how it looks like this is your himalayan bend the formation of himalayas along right this is the formation of your purvanchals okay purvanchal galu illi form agiddu okay structure of himalayas how does it seem for example if you are standing okay consider you are standing on the side of himalayas and consider adarsh is standing on the side of tibet ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಧನಂಜಯ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯನ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಂದ ನೋಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಕಾಣತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಎಲಿವೇಶನ್ ಇದೆಯೋ ಅನ್ನೋ ತರ ಕಾಣತ್ತೆ ದೇ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಟೀಪ್ ದ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಟೀಪ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಹಿಮಾಲಯನ್ ಸೈ ಹಿಮಾಲಯನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಓಕೆ ವೆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯುನೋ ಆದರ್ಸ್ ಸೀಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ತಿಬೆತಿಯನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಅನ್ನ ಹೊಂದಿದೆಯೋ ಅನ್ನೋ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೆ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸೌತ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಸೌತ್ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಸ್ಟೀಪ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ಕ್ಲೈಂಬರ್ ಅಥವಾ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ಟ್ರೆಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಥೂಸಿಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ವುಡ್ ಯು ರಾಧರ್ ಕ್ಲೈಂಬ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆರ್ ತಿಬೆತಿಯನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ತಿಬೆತಿಯನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಈಸಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಿಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಸಿ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಶಿವಾಲಿಕ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ hog back structure anna hondide and they are they have a gentle sloping in the northern phase but steeper sloping in the southern you know phase is it okay and the northern side rest against the tibetan plateau southern side on the indian plateau okay indian peninsular side and the southern side of the himalayas snow accumulation therefore will be more seen on southern side because peaks ಆಲ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುವಂತದ್ರಿಂದ ಅಕ್ಯುಮುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ನೋ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ಬಹಳ ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿ ನೋಡ್ತೀವಿ ಕಂಡನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಬಹಳ ಬೇಗ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ನೋ ಅಕ್ಯುಮುಲೇಷನ್